Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be going over all the different settings for the body moving plugin in After Effects. So now that we've got our plugins installed, I'm going to be going over some of body moving settings. So in body moving, it allows us to export fonts to shapes using this option, using the glyphs option. You can also have the hidden layers included inside your JSON file when exported. So if, for example, the this image was hidden, normally this wouldn't be exported to the JSON file, but with this option clicked, it will be included inside the JSON file. Next, we have the same, but for guide layers. So guide layers are when you shape and then create or oh no guide layer so the same as a pre previous option if um, this is a guide layer normally they're not exported to the JSON file however with this option clicked it will be exported to the JSON file and then next we have extra comps so if for example we had an expression here which linked to the city one comp you'd have to click this and then click on city one for the expression to work so here we have assets and this is an important option so that's why I created this little demo original asset names this will keep the image names um, as you've labeled them in After Effects otherwise body moving will generate names for them Copy original assets, we'll use the actual project source files. And then we've got an option for compression. So how much compression you want to apply to the images. And the next option is including JSON. And uh, this is an important option. Basically, if you click this, the images will be encoded inside the JSON file. If it's not um, ticked, they will be exported to a separate assets file. So the thing is, if they're encoded inside the JSON file, the JSON file is going to become a lot larger. So let's try that out. So if I do include in JSON, um, include in JSON file, save, and then desktop exports, call it city, and render that out. That's going to create one single JSON file. And we're going to have the images inside it and we'll be able to see them. <clears throat> so I'm just getting the. Should I can close that down? So in here we have one JSON, which is two megs. So it's quite large for a Lottie file. Um, and we can just drag and drop that. And now we have our animation. So the other option, so the other option, if we, uh, where is it? Assets. If we don't include it, let's see what happens. So, all right, let's save that and call it uh, city2 and render that all right uh, okay so now we've got a JSON file and we've got an image folder so if you drag and drop uh, the Lottie we will see what happens and as you can see, the images are missing because it's linking to this folder of images. To fix that, you can actually create a zip, um, create a zip together and then upload that and that should work. So there we go, we've got our images back. So it's up to, um, it's up to the users really. The easiest way to share them is to write them and encode them inside the JSON file, but that'll make larger file sizes. Otherwise, um, don't encode them and have a smaller Lottie, but you'll have an images folder, basically. 
<clears throat> so assets. So that's for this option, including JSON. Uh, skip images. They won't re-render the images when if they've not changed. And then include video and audio. This is experimental, so it won't work on the um, default players, basically. But it will include video and audio assets inside the JSON file. Next, we have export modes. So standard mode, it exports as a single JSON file. Split will split the animation up into multiple JSON files. So if we have a 10 second animation and select one, that'll export the animation as 10 JSON files every one second. Next, we have demo, which exports the animation as a HTML file. Um, and so you can double click it and it'll open up in your default browser and you can see the animation. Next we have report, which will create a report of the animation. Rive, which will export it for a Rive project. And standalone, which exports the player and the animation inside a single JavaScript file. And this option, we have banner. And I've not used this before, but apparently it's for Google Ads. Um, and it will export it as a big bundle, as a zip file, with your animation and the players um, inside it. And then you have a few extra options, such as looping and how many loops you want it to do. Next, we have AVD. And this will export, instead of a JSON file, it, it will export it as an XML file. So you can use it for Android. OK, let's move on to expressions. <clears throat> so for this option, convert expressions to keyframes. Um, it'll save you from using the After Effects option, basically using Keyframe Assistant. Um, and I'll show the results of that quickly. So here I'm going to quickly demonstrate the Convert Expressions to Keyframes option. So if I don't have it clicked, um, this has got a wiggle expression on it. So it's wiggling around. If it's if the option isn't ticked, uh, we're going to render it out and preview it. And as you can see, it's glitching everywhere. So let's go on to settings and then convert the expression to keyframes. Save that. Render it out. Preview it. And it's what we've got on screen. So that's a lot better. So if you're using expressions, um, click this option, obviously. Um, but it might not, it won't necessarily work for overcomplicated expressions. So it's worth to just give it a try. And then after that, we have extend conversion beyond work area. So this will um, convert the keyframes that are beyond the beyond the work frame simply <laughs> and um, <clears throat> the next one is remove expression properties so this will remove one's properties that aren't used for expressions next we have some more advanced settings so export old json format this is for when you can't update your lottie player necessarily uh, trim and use keyframes and layers it will remove unused layers and keyframes skip default properties which will optimize your file and make it um, smaller because things like the anchor points and opacity uh, won't be included inside the JSON file. Uh, next we have include non-supported properties. So this goes back to effects that aren't supported by Lottie yet. So for example, if I take a slider, for example, uh, and then you for example, link, oops. Uh, for example, if I take a slider and link it to this position, sliders aren't uh, managed by Lottie. So this won't be exported inside the JSON file. However, if I do click this option, it will be exported inside the JSON file, basically. Next, we have pretty print. So this will make it more, make the JSON file readable. Uh, instead of it being all in a big blob without any spaces. 
and then we have audio so this will export the audio layers so there we go now we've got body moving and lottie files installed we have got all the plugins we need to start creating lottie animations if this video helps you out, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel to keep up to date with everything happening in the wonderful world of Lottie Animations.